uh, Graybeard here. We're going to look today at this uh, M3D Pro Mega I have sitting beside me. Uh, here, let me see. You can see it maybe that way. Uh, so I've not touched this unit. It's been sitting in the basement for a while. Um, it's not unwrapped. I've not used it at all. But uh, let's go ahead and start looking at this. I don't know what kind of challenges I'll run into. I did see uh, Chris's stream last week when he was playing with his, and uh, it looked like there were there were some issues, but we'll see what we can do here. Let me try to switch this. Uh... All right, that should work. So, and uh, one other thing, let me bring up my YouTube. I see a hall of uh, mirrors going on or something, I don't know. Where is YouTube? <clears throat> All right. Yep. Cool. I see it. Two watching. It might just be me watching myself. Oh, got to pause that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, this is this is a brand new unit. Uh, I have the invoice here. Um, my friend Mark. Uh, let me borrow this unit to try to set it up. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We have a bag of goodies up here that it came with. Now, this is how the unit was delivered. We actually picked it up directly from uh, M3D. Let me get back to this screen. So we actually picked this up right from M3D. Uh, so they didn't box it or anything. It just came like this. Uh, it looks like they, they uh, wrapped up the gantry up top. Uh, the bed is just loose to move. And then we get a bag of these things. I believe this is the build plate. I'm not sure what material it is, but uh, and I can't tell if it has a coating or not, but it seems to be exactly the right size for the bed. It's very strange. And then up here we have these things, which look like side panels. And there are screw holes that align with the sides there. Move these aside. We've got two of those for each side. Uh, and then we have this, which looks like either a front or top panel. It's probably the front panel because it has metal on it. And then magnets, yeah. Okay. And then this is probably the top panel. Um, it does have holes in it, so I guess you screw it down. So once you close all this, it should be very good for ABS. Um, and then the front, you would just remove to get to your part when you need it. Uh, I might have preferred a hinge door, but at least it's fully enclosed, as is. So, um, hey, Chris, how you doing? So, yeah, fully enclosed uh, out of the box like that is pretty good, especially a 15-inch by 15-inch uh, by 15-inch, which is a huge printer. Um, and then the actual unit itself is 20 inches. So this thing is, this thing's pretty massive here. Um, I can take you a little bit closer. And we can look at it from the top down. Uh, that's probably my fault there. It fell off one of my other printers. So it's all wrapped up still. We're going to have to undo all this, uh, this wrap. Uh, everything is pristine. There is... Sorry, I'm trying to line this up and watch it at the same time, but there is uh, some of the belt routing and of course the input tubes. And here's the other side. And it looks like we have some linear rails in there. They're very small rails. Um, and it looks like the bed is riding. Why is this not working on the screen? Okay, so the bed is riding right here. Uh, and there looks like there's four belts in the in all four sides. Um, and I believe the way the bed works, it's all managed by one motor. Let me take the front off. And let's try to look under there. So it's it's a central motor driving all four, uh, which can be uh, a bad thing uh, simply because there is no or there does not appear to be a way to level the bed. Uh, the only thing that would work is if the the if you level it in software. 
So with the bed driven by one motor like this and everything tied together, um, I guess the best way to try to level this bed would be to somehow uh, change the position of these belts so the teeth line up slightly differently. Uh, and that might help you align it. But um, the way it's designed, that's probably very difficult to do. So uh, this will be this will be interesting. Uh, let's hope it's pretty close to level, and then the software can take care of the rest. Um, so I was uh, on the M3D site and going through their uh, their manual here, and the first thing they say is check the voltage. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let me move these panels aside. <clears throat> So let's try to look at this. Yeah. I need to figure out a steady cam or something, right, guys? Okay. So we're supposed to check the voltage here. And I think it's way under there. So we're going to have to turn this. So the voltage setting is on the underside of the printer, uh, of the power supply, the way it's mounted. Somehow, we don't need that till later anyway. All right. So here we go. Here, it is already set to one fifteen. So good deal. You just want to double check that. Make sure it's set to your your value for your country. Uh, if you happen to get one of these, and then here we can see the attachment of the belt so the belt comes through the channel they wrap it around a bolt here and then they just strap it down so uh, you could possibly change the leveling by maybe adjusting uh the position of the belt along the path because it has to attach at the top as well um but it just seems difficult um and very finicky to do so let's hope it's pretty good right out of the factory here there's the other uh, belt positions so, <clears throat> all right, so let's go ahead and uh, flip this back up. All right, actually, uh, while it's this way, I think it came with feet. Let's look at attaching the feet. So, let's see. Yeah, the plastic wrap on the hot end. Yeah, it's it's all wrapped up. I'm going to be unwrapping for a while. <laughs> um, all right, so let's look at this. This looks like extra slides. Um, so this, it looks like the way the bed slides is on these plastic connectors. Maybe there's bearings in there. I'd have to look. So they gave us some extra ones. We have a USB adapter of some sort, but I don't see a card in there. Hopefully it's it's in the, uh, yeah, the, the micro SD is in the board. So that's good. Uh, let's see what this is. Uh, not sure. It looks like, is that extra motor drivers? but I'm not sure why I have extra motor drivers. We'll see. Um, a micro USB wire, very standard. Four clips. I assume these are just to hold on the bed. And four feet, of course. And some screws. <laughs> yeah, it sure has been a while for me to stream. Uh, summer just got way out of hand for me. Uh, everything is so behind. And this is a project I owed somebody for quite a while. And I feel really bad that I didn't get to it on time for him. 
Um, I offered to return it to him and he said, no, just go ahead and hold on to it till you have time to do it. Oh, fun stuff. Okay. They're using the one tool I did not bring up with me. They're using star drive. Uh, T uh, looks like T 15 maybe. So I have to go get a, a T 15 and I'll be back. I'm not even sure if that's the right size screw, but yeah, I'll be back. Hold down the fort, guys, for one second. I gotta go find one of these. Okay, so I have this handy dandy uh, nifty uh, tool here that just saves my butt sometimes. Uh, yeah, I don't think that one's deep enough. I think it's going to be this one. Perhaps I should actually read the book. That looks pretty good. So that has to go through the frame. See. <clears throat> okay, so that's enough thread there. So it's very simple. Just goes right through the frame there, and they give you a little lock washer or a lock nut to put on it. Um, the lock nut being something I also don't uh, have a driver for here, I don't think. We'll see. This is probably uh, American sized. Yeah, I'll make it work. Or I won't. Have, uh, have you guys had a Promega before or, or an M3D printer before? They have kind of this uh, mixed wrap. I think from what I saw from uh, Chris's channel is some extrusion issues. So if the extruder has to change out, that wouldn't be too bad. Um, I mean, I hope not, but it wouldn't be too bad. But if the motion system has issues, then that becomes a whole nother problem. Yeah. Yeah, I should have I should have put this thing back to together in what July, <laughs> I think is when I got this. So I'm I'm planning a day of streaming out 
um, maybe a whole weekend of streaming. I am really going to catch up everything. We have Earth coming up. Uh, I really have to get moving on everything. I have to start making my new design of a maker coin. Uh, and all these little things just need to happen here. I have some stickers coming in. They're going to be cool. If you're at Earth, you're going to get a sticker. If you subscribe to the Alien Box, uh, you should also get a sticker. Um, I plan on giving Josh enough stickers for all his subscribers. Cool, we have feet. Don't tell my wife, but uh, when I was building the rail court, I didn't have feet on it and I ended up scratching up this table and uh, she doesn't know, but let's not tell her. So. Lessons learned, it's not a workbench. because it looks like I have a few more screws here. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. Some of it is probably to these. They give you these uh, 3D printed spool holders. So they're going to connect to these. There's a pair of holes here and stick out the back and then hold this bolt. It's, it's at an angle, but there's not a lip here. So um, I would think that the spool might try to walk off. I don't know. But it just depends. All right, we can put some stuff down here. I still don't know why I have the extra driver there. excited for Earth this year. I'm looking forward to seeing um, what E3D brings along. Uh, they have that new extruder that they just are. Yeah, new extruder slash hot end combo. All right. Can I just slide it? It doesn't seem to want to slide. I don't want to force anything. <clears throat> There's a little bit of foam packing over here in the corner here. I wonder if that is meant to stay in place. Probably not. So you guys tell me what you think. Right here in the corner, this is a packing material. It looks like, where is it like a bumper? <laughs> I'm going to guess packing material. So got to get that out of there. Let's see. Put you guys in here somehow. There we go. Hmm. That makes it easier. Okay. All right, so there we have it. This is a little weird. Um, let's get you on screen. These are just sitting here like this. I'm not sure. Like, and from what I saw, uh, the filament goes somewhere into one of these crevices in here. 
and I'm not sure if I can get you a great view of it, but the filament goes in there somewhere. It's just not very clear where it goes in there. I think maybe a little 3D printed cap or something to help guide it might be nice. Uh, so that looks pretty good wiring there. Let's see. Yeah, pretty good wiring. I was worried about the, these wires against this belt, but this belt is doesn't really move. So tiny, tiny fans here. And then in the front, it looks like we have one big fan. All right. Back here. Um, not a huge fan of these things just dangling out. Maybe I'll get these connected up right now. They might be this way for boxing purposes because this, this extends beyond the edge here. So just to box it up. Uh, that must be why they do it. Otherwise, it, this would probably break. And of course, the duet board. I don't see any loose wires. So I'm not sure what I'm doing with the extra um, motor controllers. But I think this thing is quad capable. So maybe that it's meant for when the quad upgrade comes. So let's do that. Okay, the back of the unit. More star drives. At least they're the same size. It's a T T20, so it's a T20 drive. It was close. It's off by five. I'm also looking forward to the protopasta production line that they're setting up at Earth. I think that's a first for any event to have a filament line out there on the floor. Oh no, it's going to be exciting. So, slowly lower that bed. We definitely don't want to uh, cause it to skip or to overpower the board. All right, this is kind of a pain here, guys. Yeah. So every time I do something, I have to buy a new set of these things. These uh, Weeha things, I really like them, but it's like now I have I have to buy the the Torx set. I think two weeks ago I bought the what do they call it the Imperial set or SAE or whatever it's called um, because I had to fix a Fisher Price thing. So. Here's a little sneak peek, guys. Everybody remember one of these? All right, so uh, you can 3D print your own discs with your own music on it. Uh, there's a project out on, uh, what is it called, Instructables. And so, this is thing off. So I wanted to 3D print my own disc. The project came with a pre-configured disc for me, and uh, so I just used that. I do apologize if this is going to be loud. I mean, 
well power supply. I don't know. So anyway, you get the idea. Uh, I'm sure playing that will get this thing demonetized or something on YouTube. Um, okay. Somebody will make a slow rap video with that music in it and then claim my video for a copyright violation or something. Uh, I don't think it's a meanwhile. I, I don't really see any markings on it that identify a brand. I would guess... I don't see anything that really identifies a brand on this. Uh, so I would guess this is a budget-friendly power supply. Maybe there's a mark back here. Let's see. Uh, Li Yu, L-E-Y-U. 424 volt. So. Okay. So this one's connected. Nice and firm there. Let's get the other one connected. I'm going to switch sides for that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the reasons I bought the rail core. Uh, I believe like almost every component in that was pretty well known. Um, I know they're they're cutting a little bit on the rails, um, but they're using really nice power supply, really nice hot end, uh, nice uh, extruder. You got a BL touch in it. So now this thing has the duet in it, and that's really nice. I, I like that they're using that board. guys. All right, I'm back. <laughs> McDonald's delivery. Good stuff.
I hate these folding tools. Solid. Let's see what we got. What do y'all guess the next step is here, huh? I mean, it looks almost ready to go. It doesn't look like uh, rocket science in here. That's one thing I wish they would have done. Um, I wish they would have had some sort of enclosure or partial enclosure back here uh, at a printer at this price. Uh, originally, I think it was what thirty five hundred dollars, which is just crazy. But at a printer this price, uh, you would think that they would at least enclose the electronics a little bit. They do have uh, some nice mounting points here, so you could do something. Uh, but I think you know they should have done it, or they should have. Maybe give me the file for it. I mean, crap, it's a 15-inch printer. You should be able to print anything you want, really. Hmm. All right. And, of course, I think a lot of people noticed in uh, Chris's video the bow here. So I'm not a huge fan of that. It doesn't really seem structural, but what I really don't like is this flex here it has like a little bit of flex and i'm wondering as these motors tug and pull if if you're going to get a the slightest bit of movement right there so yeah uh, looking at the pulley alignment i guess it all seems okay we'll see how it is when it Starts running. I don't know, guys. Do I just plug it in and go? Should I just do it? I think I need filament. Oh, okay, I'll put these on. <clears throat> Should we pick some filament I've never opened before? A reassembled kit? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm concerned. Um, I think I saw this at, as a demo unit at uh, Earth last year, and there were some really nice things about it, but I think it has changed some since I saw that unit at Earth, at Earth. Uh, maybe for the worst. Yeah, I really don't care about the top bending like that. Um, in fact, mounting the top cover might actually uh, fix some of that bend at the top. And for the back plate, you might be able to print a brace that will stiffen that up too. So we'll see. Now, I've talked to the guys at M3D quite a bit. Uh, they used to let me use their space for my um, 3D printing meetup that I run every month. And they're really nice about it. They let me use their space. They even uh, paid for the meetup uh, an annual fee. Um, so that was all very nice. And I got to see a lot of what they're working on. And uh, I got to talk to the, the owner, uh, very, very smart guy. 
So I don't know where some of these compromises come from. Uh, if they are compromises, I mean, maybe this thing will run perfectly. But I saw Chris's video and, uh, no, <laughs> I have my doubts. Ah, uh, Shom. Hey, man. You don't want to be a turkey. Shom, do you want in on this uh, chat, man? I'm using StreamYard. You can uh, add people. Yeah, I gave everybody a heads up, man. I think I posted it last night on uh, Alien 3D's uh, stream. I said, hey, I might do a stream all weekend if I can get away with it. Because it takes me a while to set up all these cameras and the lights and everything else. Because I don't have permanent studio space. So if I can get away with it, I'm going to try to stream all weekend. So I only have to set the stuff up once. Um, my goal is to get a more permanent studio. Uh, because setting this up is usually like the biggest detractor. I think it took me an hour. <laughs> uh, yeah, send you a link and give you a few. All right, let's find this link. Chris, you want in on here too? Oh. Let's see. How shall I give this link away? <laughs> Where is Twitter? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Okay, let me get back to my stream here. Close that down. All right. So we're going to see if we can get Shulman here. <laughs> yeah. No problem, Chris. All right. Let me go get some uh, filament uh, to put on this thing. I'm just going to I'm going to see what happens. I'm, I'm not going to touch the card. I'm going to see what it came with back in July and see if it has a demo file and see if it will print. Who knows? Uh, more than likely, I'll probably have to hook it to a computer. But let's see.
so let's see what I found. Okay, this one I've used before. I really like this color. Um, it's hard to see on camera, but it's like a silky sheen on it. This is the Atomic uh, Silky Ribbon Red PLA. Let me go ahead and load up one of these. Let's go ahead and cut off the tip. Nice little angle on there. That's usually how I do it. Now, I like how neat it is to have the filament uh, routing through the cable chain. However, <laughs> it's quite a bit of resistance. Um, and if you're going to use a, a lower power extruder, I don't know if you want that resistance. Okay, and this next one is Prusament. I have not printed this one yet. This is a purple. Uh, what's it called? A galaxy Purple. And there's the start. All right. <clears throat> Get this stuff out. And it looks already pre cut for me. Who knows if this is the correct routing? Oh, stick spot. Okay. So these are coming in and going through, and now they're out at the end here. I think that is a tricky arrangement. Whew, that is a lot of tug. I think I see it. I think it's going. So it looks like it goes in toward the front because it could go back there, but that's where the rod is. So you want it toward the front there. Um, more closer. Did you ever print anything? Uh, Sean, I haven't gotten to your silky samples. Have not done it yet. Wow. The resistance of pulling this filament through these tubes is insane. That is absolutely going to be a problem. And I have a feeling as Prusaments to spec. <laughs> so uh, I guess uh, maybe you want some slightly under spec stuff. Okay, so yeah, Shom, I opened up your samples uh, on, what was it, like a Saturday night hangout thing. Um, kind of looked at all of them. They looked really cool. I can't wait to print with them, but I just haven't had time. I, this is part of me clearing up my time. This is probably one of my longest to-dos. And then moving on from here, I have a bunch of stuff to unbox. Um, and I'm going to try to knock all this stuff out this weekend. But I have a brand new resin printer to unbox. A bunch of uh, maker boxes and alien 3D boxes to do. Uh, I have to finish the rail core. I'm going to try to do it all. We'll see. It's too much. It's too much stuff. Okay, so I believe this is going to be a huge problem with these tubes. We'll see. This is also a problem. Very, very short cord. Why would you do such a short cord? I don't know if this cord would work in most environments. With a printer this size, you're already losing... I don't know, just to just to go from the printer, you're you're losing about uh, 10 inches here. 
So now you only have like this much cord to work with. Um, you're not on screen, are you? So you're losing 10 inches right here just to get to the edge of the printer. So you only have this very little amount of cord to work with, and it's just not enough. I don't see any practical way that that is considered enough cord. Uh, fortunately, it looks easy to change the cord. Um, it is pretty heavy duty. I do like that. It seems to be the right thickness. Uh, let's see. What gauge is this? Okay, so it's 14 gauge. 300 volt. Yeah, all the all the usual stuff. But uh, 14 gauge is pretty good. What is this? A 400? Is it a 400 watt power supply? So you actually don't even need it this thick. I think you can go to uh, 18 gauge if you wanted to. But I digress. Let me go find a, an extension cord. Um, this whole thing is going to be about everything. Oh, there's Shom. He's trying to wave at me. Head to stream. There he is. Whoa, hey. Hey, man. <laughs> I was waving backwards. <laughs> Man, you flipped me on there so fast. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Uh, yeah, I like the stream there that we can add people. The biggest challenge I had is uh, just having multiple cameras, and I'm kind of cheating here to get this uh, extra camera set up. Uh, the real bad part is if somehow one of my USB devices change, uh, if one of these USB devices change, what, what gets really bad is it like switches all the settings for all the cameras and then my audio starts piping through. Well, that sounds like a party. What so I really... Good morning going, John. It's going okay. Are you coming through as an echo to everybody else on YouTube? I, you know, I have the sound on here. Hold on. Yeah. You sound see. fine. What if I mute you? All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, John. Let me check. Let me mute myself a second. I did not want to yell in your ear. All right. So that's there. Echo, echo, echo. Yeah, I have a little bit of an echo. Yes, I will be the dolphin from that okay. show that I never watched. We had the action figures, though. What was it? Sequest? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Chris, since uh, you're probably the only one out there on YouTube, uh, is there an echo now? Can you hear me now with no echo? Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. No, I don't think it's you. It. it I, uh, I was using my MacBook speakers, and it's right next to the microphone, and I'm not sure how the two can cancel each other out. So uh, let's go get a power cord uh, if you want to entertain Chris uh, for a little while. <laughs> I'll be right back. Was my mic muted the whole time, Chris? Can you hear me? Testes, one, two, testes, one, two. Yellow, blue, green. I assume they can hear me. I hear you. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I just unmuted myself, but he's saying I'm mute. Jason, is this thing unmute? Up or down uh, mute? Up for mute. Down it means it's not mute. Okay, what well says? Okay, John, you can hear me, but I'm not sure Chris can. I have this plugged in. I'm not oh, muted there. Yes. Oh. Well, what's he saying I'm muted? For? Oh, he's delayed. I forgot. There's a delay. <laughs> My bad. Dude, I've been up since last night. So I'll blame it on that. Two and a half hours sleep and still going. Yep. I got food on the smoker right now, baby. So. 
So, have you seen our uh, pictures of our dragonfly we're working on, John? Uh, let me see. It's still a work in progress right now. Let me try to bring you to the front here. Yeah, it was kind of hard. There you go. One of these. Dude, the wings are really, really detailed. We've thinned them up some. And again, this was like the second version, maybe even the third. We've retweaked it even still. I hate these legs. I really do. They just, these legs here, here, I'll show you our new ones right here. I got to clean it up. So instead of sitting here on the side, these will be plugged in here at the bottom. So then it can actually sit and stand proper, more like an actual dragonfly leg. And we thin the wings up. And the body details, there's a lot of detail in this body. Actually, you can probably tell more from this this version, what we're printing out right now. Everything I plugged together real nice. I don't know. We like that spider so much. I was like, let's do something else. Let's go with a dragonfly. I always thought they were cool looking. You still uh, there, John? Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, it reminds me of that game Cooties where you put the little legs on the, the bug. <laughs> The legs do. Yeah, you know what? They do, dude. That's probably why I don't like them. <laughs> it's got cooties. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Hey, have you seen that movie, Cooties? Uh, no. Sorry. The guy, the guy who wrote the movie Saw did that movie Cooties, and it takes place in elementary school, and it's whole zombie-based infection scene with the kids getting it. Wow. The teachers trying to survive. Actually, a really good movie. Sounds, Sounds awesome. Worth checking out. Yeah, it's got Rain Wilson's in it, if you know who he is. From The Rocker, from The Office. Wait, I don't know which one that is, though. Is he the brown hair guy on The Office? Uh, you know, I only watched like half of the first season of The Office. The movie The Rocker, which was kind of loosely based on the Megadeth <laughs> rise. He, he's taller, wears glasses, hmm. short hair. Look at this. We can keep adding cameras. We're the Brady Bunch. <laughs> I was just admiring your fly cam. So what kind of cameras you run right now, John? So my main cam that is focused on me and probably shouldn't be is the best camera. It is a Fuji uh, X-T3. I have that going through a uh, HDMI to USB converter. That thing's and really then, pixelated. Really? Your your fly cam's a oh, beautiful the fly picture. Cam. No, the fly cam's a beautiful picture, but on you it's Is it really? Yeah. I look crystal clear on my screen. Not on my end. What about you, Chris? How's that look? Nope. It... No, it's I... still like it's trying to focus and it doesn't know what to focus on. Really? I'm looking at it on my screen. It looks it looks fine. What do you seeing Chris you seeing the same thing I am back on the mirror is as crystal clear but it's trying to focus on you so it's going back and forth I would think it would have to show me what it's showing you did you check on your uh, phone or something on the actual YouTube channel uh, or actually let me check on the YouTube channel that sounds complicated Maybe man yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just a stream lab thing, dude. Since oh. No, it's on the YouTube channel too. Here I'll show you. Oops. You gotta learn that all these controls here. I wonder why. Yeah, it's just you. The backdrop it has it, but maybe it's it's the mixture of your shirt and the beard. I don't know. Either way, I'm just glad it's, you're it's so weird it's been because a while since you've been up. Uh, perfectly. Which one am I on here? Yeah, low res here. Yeah, Chris said the same. Thank you, Chris. I didn't yeah. know a technical term. I'm a freaking idiot. So on my screen, that camera looks far, far better than the fly cam. 
but it must be doing something maybe with trying to compress it because it's it's putting out a full 1080. So is that all the is that StreamYard options? You can just keep switching around the camera angles, the views, Brady Bunch as opposed to so, side by side. Yeah, StreamYards has an option where you can basically change your guests. So the the fly cam is actually joined in as another guest. Uh, <laughs> nice. Be, that explains StreamYards, it yeah, StreamYards won't let you have a second camera, sort of. All right. So right now. I bet you StreamYards is downgrading this this resolution here. I can try to fix it. So I'm sending out true 1080, but StreamYards, most it'll do is 720. And I wonder if it's trying to compress it down. Ooh, kitty, kitty pick. <clears throat> Let me see what will happen. This will probably destroy everything. Can you hear? <laughs> yeah, see? She's a little shyster. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put you down. Go find some food. Go sleep or lick yourself. That's what you're good at. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. I hate this headset. I really, really, really hate this headset. Oh. Uh. I do not know how to downgrade seeing the old one i could just sit here without my headset can you still see the, the camera uh the fly cam not you oh, okay it, it did stop it yeah it stopped the camera I just noticed. I don't have my. This is crazy. I can't set. Um, Let's see what side am I on? This one. Ha ha! Got to get that in there, baby. Boom! Hey, John, you seen our new uh, card design? Can you um, hear me? Can I you hear, hear me you. now? Oh. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna grab one of our cards. I will be left front too because I like an even keel. Think about it. <laughs> On with the build. I don't know what happened to the build. I didn't know we were building something. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like this camera. Okay, I got bad echo for you. That's a better picture there, dude. Shouldn't be. <laughs> I didn't do it. Again. Yeah, the, well, the only thing that's low res now is more on your beard. So. <laughs> My camera does not output four or does not output 720. It can only do 1080 or 4K. Streamyards only does 720, and it's trying to compress it. Yay! So that's a bit of a problem. Here's our. I don't know. We're, we're going to redo this. This is more for the props and prototyping and stuff. We're going to have two separate cards. That was our original. Shom just did a new design. Freaking loving this. This is for our architectural renderings and stuff. Cool. Like how he skewed the picture with three renders on there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's skewed. Right? Skewed right. everything, baby. There's our logo. We're getting to the point in our interior renders and stuff. We're putting our logos like on the TVs, the laptops, just subtle, but it's there. <laughs> what are we building, John? This is the M3D Pro Mega. Which is what? 
Uh, it's 15 inch by 15 inch by 15 inch print. Very big. Nice. Yeah. I have not even heard of this. Who, who makes this? M3D. So it's a huge printer. Uh, it was very expensive initially. I think $3,500. And now I think it's on sale for 1000 Wow. That's a heck of a discount. Why did I just have to? Why does it tell me to log in to uh, the StreamYards again? You're here. Yeah, I know. That's weird. I just lost the chat I was watching. Okay. I'm back over on the YouTube then watching the chat. So you got it for less than a third of the price. You got it for like 27% of the price. So I didn't buy this. Uh, somebody bought this and said, hey, set this up for me. Kind of work through some kinks and uh, give it back to me. And I'm, I'm like, okay, that'll be cool to stream that and to do this on YouTube. Uh, two months later, here I am. So I just haven't had a, a moment to get to it. And I feel really bad for the guy. I told him, I said, look, I, I just haven't had time. Do you want it back? And he said, hold on to it till you have time. Uh, so here it is. And I think he paid full price. Or I hope, I mean, I hope he didn't. But who knows? Yeah, I don't know. So right now I have two filaments loaded. Uh, they're not actually loaded into the extruder. I'm going to have to connect this to a computer to control it, it looks like. Uh, which You have to connect. Really? Well, there's no screen on it. Oh, man. All that money and there's no screen? Yeah. The other option I have, I don't think there's Wi-Fi on it. I don't see a Wi-Fi uh, antenna. Unless it's really, really small. But Wow. No wonder they put it on sale. <laughs> no yes, screen. I don't, I don't see a Wi-Fi. Can, can we see an overall pit? You already have it assembled? You're just trying well, to get it going? It more or less comes assembled. Can I see an overall? Because, ah, oh, there you go. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, that looks like the black glass on the bed, similar to what we got on the Aurora. That is the raw printed circuit board. Um, so you have to put a bed coating on that. You don't want to print directly on that. Oh, yeah, I see it now. You got closer up. Yeah, you can see the traces on there. You don't want yeah. to. You don't want to start scraping on those. Man, I'm telling you, that black glass, I think they call it black glass, that's on the, came on the JG Aurora A5S we have, that is probably the best printing surface I've used so far. Matter of fact, I have an extra one. Um, I was thinking about sending you. Dude, so that everything's open on this, John? Yeah. Uh, it's another issue I kind of have with it. For that sort of price, I think they should. Uh, For that price, it shouldn't be they naked. Should have, and they should if, put an enclosure back here, yeah. Yeah, if it's going to be naked for that price, and we're talking a different kind of stream. <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I know it's a difference between the camera views from YouTube to us. Oh, yeah? YouTube is downplaying it or something? No, it's just the angle of it. Now it seems to be better. Ah. Hmm. Maybe I had the delay. Either way, I found Chris's chat back in StreamYards here. Oh, good. Yeah, I think it will sometimes uh, drop out. Let's see. Print run. So is this a multi... Uh, is it's a multi material, multi. Is that is yes. that two spools you got on there? Yes. Uh, so I have a spool okay. of cement on here, and a spool of atomic silky red. Uh, I, I mean, they're both very high quality filaments, so it, they should not be the cause of any problems with this printer. Um, I noticed when I was feeding it, you have to feed the filament up through these tubes, and these tubes go all the way through this cable chain. And I noticed while feeding it, it's quite a bit of resistance. Um, I think, you know, even 
I, I don't even think I'd want to do that with a bond tech. <laughs> uh, that, that is quite a bit of resistance on there. Um, so I'm afraid. All... Go ahead. I, I'm just, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm afraid it's not going to be able to pull or feed the filament through. Um, I'm curious, does all the prusament uh, filament come on spools like that? Yes. <laughs> right on, Joseph. Squeeze every cent you can, every percentage. This is I a nice that. pool, man. No, I know, I know, but put all the holes in it. It's less material, it's less cost. Uh, I don't think this saved him any money. So it's, it's an awesome cardboard. design, though, with the little hexagons. Cardboard core. I'm trying to get it on camera. So oh, I see it now, cardboard. yeah. Um, and it looks like it just smacks on there. Uh, it does have his name on there. Yep. Kind of hard to see. No, I saw it. On the other side, you have the uh, laser etched uh, QR code that will let you see the uh, manufacturing details of it along with uh, print recommendations and manufacture date. Nice. And that galaxy purple is a sweet color too. Yeah, it, it really is. Um, the other interesting thing about his spool holder is the way it holds the end of the filament comes through here, at least when it's new. Uh, you know, obviously you can just feed it through any hexagon layer. Yep. It's got Agreed, a Chris. That's what I was saying. So it is pretty lightweight. Um, it's not 3D printed. It's injection molded. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's yeah, sturdy enough. Cool. Yep, looks good. So, okay. Am I able to connect to a duet through a uh, print run? Anybody know the answer to this? Um, uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I say yes if you can just figure out the linguist, the linguist okay. of it. Yeah, that's it. Printer is now online. So, there's the. Turn it on. What happens if I hit home? Oh, uh, well, put the camera, man. All we see are these spools. The spools are cool. They are, but if you're going to turn it on and home it, I want to see all that. Yes, I'm, I'm moving it. It's unless, you're, unless you're leaving it there for the blue smoke. I want to see that, too. Okay, how about a side view? Both worlds? <laughs> there you go. Okay. That's a sharp-looking sure. machine, though. Oh, it, it looks nice. Okay, I'm going to hit this home button. <laughs> uh, I might have back the camera, camera out a little bit and zoomed oh, in there. there. Okay, let me try to back it up. Is that good? Yeah, that's better. All right, let's hit this home button. Fingers crossed. Man, I hit the home on the tornado last night after I printed one of the crosses. And the little tab I had glued to the thing because of the distance, it broke off. I didn't notice, and it dug right into the bed. I'm like, what the hell's going on? There's a weird clicking noise. I don't know if that's coming through on the microphone or not. Very faintly. So it's only when the extruder's mo moving. Um, well, what happens if I hit home again? It should be pretty quick. That's very slowly lowering. So you didn't put a bed on there? Uh, I have one. Okay. Hmm. I don't see it lowering. Uh, it already lowered. It was very slow. You need to back the camera up then. Oh, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> I'll tell Z to move. Okay, that didn't do anything. Ah, look at that. 
What I see is that shiny black abyss. Yeah, but you should be watching the edge of it. <clears throat> there, more edge. Um, sure. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I seen it that time. Okay. I was not looking for the whole... Uh, okay. okay, never mind. I didn't realize it was that type of printer. What I'm type? sitting here waiting for the whole extruder to come down. The bed's moving up and down. No, the, the extruder stays up there always. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's why I was like, it's not coming down. <laughs> yeah. So the whole time I'm paying attention to the extruder. <coughs> <coughs> Let Sorry. Let me see what I can do here. <clears throat> That's pretty sweet. Okay. Oops. Come on, dude. I've got one of those bendy tripods. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do to load some uh, material. What are you going to print? A Marvin? If you're going to print a Marvin, load that silky filament. Let's do it. Wow. Wow, there's a big difference in the color of your shirt from one camera to the other. Know what? I'm gonna tweet this out. Oh, yeah. Sure. Two people follow me, so maybe three will watch. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what I should probably do. Uh, see, I would hate to do that. <sighs> What's that? I think I have to hook it to the network to get actual kind of like full control over this printer. Because I think what it has is a web interface. And that means I need to find a network cable. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to find a network cable. All righty then. Well, I hope he's a little more organized than we are. Because I can't even describe the experience you have to go through here to try to find something specific. Usually, I just kind of stumble upon it and go, oh, yeah, I was looking for that. I can use that over here. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. Don't even front. Chris, what are you doing this weekend? What are you printing right now? What kind of sweet ass projects is everyone working on this weekend? In fact, let me go back over here to YouTube. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Nope, I think it's the same thing. Man, that is definitely one sweet looking printer. 15 by 15 by 15 build. That's a good size. Can't wait to see an actual print come off it. It's a lot of static, John. What do you got going on over there? You probably can't even hear me right now. They're here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I hear him stomping back. Here, I'll show our dragonfly off again. I'm sure I hear you. <laughs> I know, I know. I couldn't hear you, though. I know. I could switch the microphone to my earbud if I, you know, when I go out somewhere, but... Oh, that's all right. Streamyards is a little finicky. I have so many tables here. This is 
definitely against. Dude, them. I see. I see. Earth is sold out this year. Yeah, it's freaking it's really crazy. cool, but uh, <clears throat> I don't know, dude. They instituted those new rules and stuff that people can't bring in their 3D printed weapon props and this. And you know how many people brought stuff in last year that was A awesome. Lot. I know. Yeah. I know. But if you if you have a table, you're allowed to bring it in, just not the I guests. Know. I know, I know, but still it's if if you're making nice three D printed weapons, I mean you really should have a table. You should do it right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me see. Um, what do we suppose the network address would be? Chris is printing pumpkins right now. Oh, you know what? Pumpkins. While you're doing that. I didn't print this, but I got to show you. I've never bought a pumpkin this early in the year in my entire life. But we bought one last week. That's how early we bought it. It was the most gnarly, knobbity, coolest color pumpkin i ever seen. Let me show you. You tell me. Oh, there it is. It's actually named Promega, too. Why does it say offline? All right, so that's a 205 address. Stupid ass headset. Uh, uh, man, this thing is so heavy, too. This thing is just awesome. Can I put this on StreamYards? Let's see. Boom. What do you think of that one, Chris? Is that gnarly and knobby enough? Sure, screen. Look at the color of that thing. Yes, yes, yes. Share screen. Application window. Boom. Share. Okay. So this is what I get. Now, right now, print run still connected. So I'm just print run. Honker face, whatever you want to call that thing. Okay. So. Earbuds. Now, what are you showing? Oh, uh, which you didn't see it? Is it a dancing pumpkin? No, this is <laughs> yeah, dude. It's disco. Oh. Staying alive, staying alive. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> dude, okay. it's a pumpkin. I told you it's the earliest we ever bought one. Look at that. Beautiful color, knobby, gnarliest looking thing I ever seen. Anyhow, didn't mean to interrupt the actual stream. <laughs> All right, so this this is the interface that we get. So right now we are heated up. Um, let's go a little higher. I like to go high. Can I, can I Heater two. Yeah, can. You want your earbuds with it, or do you want my earbuds? It's I want some earbuds, dude. Earbuds. If I can actually use you it, you can use it. You just need earbuds. Oh no, that doesn't work. Never mind. It does work. No, it doesn't. Let's set them all. Let's set them all to two hundred. I'm not sure yeah, why. That would be a good while back. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What do you guys think? Jason, bring it here. I'll try it. All right. What happens if we hit? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's what she said, Chris. So we can choose to mix. Requires mixing to be configured. So we'd have to configure the mix. Then we have all. Zero or one, so we can pick which extruder we're going to use. All right, my son's telling me for this headset. Let's hope this next thing works. You can take hear me, right? Take that, take that, Let's take that, so I can plug in. Yeah, I'm trying to hook something up here. I don't know what he's bringing me, but it's game time, so I'm SOL. Ooh, <laughs> here. Hey, can I hear? I can hear. Can you hear me? All right. Can anybody hear me? I hear you. Can you hear me? Uh, yep, I hear you. Sweet. All right, you luck out, you little tiger. <laughs> what are you doing with the screen right now? What kind of specs are you setting? So, all I'm doing is trying to load the extruder. Why do you have my screen up? 
This is this is the printer control. So over here we have some status, which just tells us what it's doing. Um, so right now drive zero has fed 105 millimeters of filament. Over here we have heaters. Um, these three are all the same heater, so I don't know why uh, they do it that way. It's just actually just one, really. And then you have the bed heater, which the bed is off right now. Uh, up here I have, uh, in the top left corner of your screen, I have the extruder here, and I can feed filament in. That's a lot of technical stuff. You know, next time we hook up, dude, you got to show me all this stuff on our laptop. Well, this is for a, what is it, a duet? This is the way this one particularly works. Macros here, what's that say? I don't know what that means. Printer setup. Calibrate Z, set Z and stuff. I don't know where you're talking All right. So it seems to be feeding all right, especially pulling through that tube. Definitely don't like Make it. that the big camera. So when you see what you're actually doing, John. Yeah, I don't even see what I'm actually doing. How do I see? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the boys say hi. Hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Okay. So I'm going to tell it to extrude again. That is okay. weird. I don't know if you can here for a second. Pulling through. Uh oh, starting to get some grinding. It's not able to keep up with the the feeding through this uh, through the tube. It's a lot of tension. Okay. So, I don't know. I think maybe we're at a point where we try some sort of auto level thing. Let's put a bed on here. And some binder clips. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I really like the cable rails. I don't think we have any printers right now that utilize that. Um, but actually, you know what? I think the JG Aurora does. Let me see. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't. I don't think so. Is your dog all right? My dog barks at everything that moves. So you got one of those little shit eaters, huh? I don't think he eats it, but... Okay, so you got one of those ankle biters? <laughs> yes, he does do that. You got one of those dogs that I'd be afraid to walk around because my foot's bigger than him and I worry where I step? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. My foot is probably bigger than he is. <laughs> okay. My my cat's just a little bigger, and she gets under my feet from time to time. <laughs> Let's move this camera off, and what we're going to do is just try to run this uh, auto-level command. Calibrate Z-probe. Now, is this is straight out of the box, everything yep. you're showing us, or have you modified anything here? I haven't done a darn thing to this thing. All right. Let's bring it on, then. Yep. You should make all the mods the next live stream or video. What what filament you got hooked up right now? Yeah, I see you have two of them. I know the Prusa mint. I forgot the other. What what uh, color is that? Uh, this is the Atomic Silky Ribbon Red PLA. It looks really Silky good. Ribbon Red. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful looking filament. It uh, it does that weird thing when it extrudes though, where it kind of puffs up as it comes out. I don't know if that's on camera or not. 
So it gets really thick as it comes out of the nozzle. Nice. It's the Schwarzenegger filament. Um, I'm not sure what that implies. <laughs> okay. So I told it to do the... I'll pull you up. I told it to do the auto thing. It looks like the macro has turned the temperature down to 150. It has started heating the bed. Aim your camera a little down. So it says it started to heat the bed. There you go. Um, so what kind of bed did you put on that? This is what it came with. So let's see. Let's add this back. So we can see here that's that green graph, uh, that green line on the right going downward. That's the temperature because it, it decided to cool down the nozzle for me to 150. And then the purple line is the bed. And that's trying to climb to 60 right now. It's climbing pretty slowly. It's at uh, 39 degrees. This is PLA you're going to print? Yeah. What do you normally print your PLA at? I normally print PLA at about 210. I usually do 215 and 55. Yeah. So Although, you know, after talking with you and hooking up that tornado with the mosquito hot in, I do the 220. Yeah. We'll just wait for that to heat. <clears throat> so everything on this is stock right now. What size uh, nozzle you got on there? Is it four? Yeah, I believe it's a point four. Okay. So when, oh, that's right. It's not your printer. I was going to say, what kind of mod are you thinking first? Um, the mod I would do would be a, uh, probably a new extruder. But we'll see. So uh, Chris uh, from Chris's basement, uh, did one of these last weekend, and we had a lot of problems getting it to extrude. So I'm thinking that uh, right now it does this weird mixing extruder thing, and just simplify it all. If the frame is good, if, if the uh, uh, movement is all good, just put on a more tried and true, like Montech slash E3D. Okay. Okay. Maybe even Mosquito. Mm. It's very expensive. I know, but it's very nice. Of course, then again, I'm in Florida, so I'm biased. <laughs> Someone should come up with a, a northern hot end and call it the Goliath moth. We got mosquito down here. Up there, you got the moths. So someone should do that. I wonder if I'm supposed to do something here. I don't know. I can't see. I see you got stuff going up and down, but you're in the wrong camera view for us. Yes, yes, yes. No worries. I'll keep you in line. Make that the top one. I'm trying to figure out how to make this thing stick somewhere. That did not work. How's that? Uh... Change the screens, it'd be good, probably. Uh, touch the bed with the nozzle with the bed. Oh, so let me put the switch up. Okay. Let me switch screens. Is that better? There you go. Wrong way? Which way? Oh, come with the light at hot end, huh? Yeah, it's, I mean, a lot of nice things to like about this. And then there's some things where you go, why? The 3D printed hot end, the whole uh, mount right there. There's a lot of little 3D printed bits. None of it looks structural. Yeah. But I don't mind 3D printed parts on a printer because no. it means you can modify it easier. I agree. It looks like a dual fan kit there. So it wants me to move this bed until it touches, I guess. It's definitely touching. <laughs> In fact, let me move the bed down real quick. Clean up that little 
bit of gunk. Is there a way to uh, level it? Well, that's what I'm working on. Auto level or manual? So it has a few, and that's a little bit weird about it. It has a few different things going on. So um, one that thing came I, off quite easy. Yeah. Well, it's also very dusty. There's a whole layer of dust on this thing. I should wash it. Okay. Let me go back down. Yeah. So I'm touching. So I'm just using the on-screen controls, and it says to make it touch the bed and press OK. All right. Deploy the Z probe. So on the side here, there's this on screen. Back the camera up a little so I can see what you're pointing to. Well, I, I haven't pointed yet. I'm going to move the camera for you. So on the side here is a Z probe. It's a standard switch, and you have to press it down uh, to lock it in place down there. And when you're done with it, you have to manually pull it back up. Uh, and that is a very standard. Is that on the screen? A little bit. You're all in it. There you go. Yeah, that's a very standard uh, kind of like just end stop switch, right? Yep. And you can pull it up and push it down. So it's a standard end stop. This part is. There is also a thermal probe uh, for leveling. But we're doing this step right now. So our Z probe is deployed. I hit OK. What's it doing? Oh, it's about to do the clickety click. It's going to touch. Yep. Boom shakalaka. Now it says to retract the Z code, uh, Z probe. It's very hard to get your fingers in here. It's also hot. Okay. Record Z value displayed in machine status table. Uh, where's machine status table? Oh, okay. Whoops. I'll be right back. I go shake up the taters on the grill. All right. Oh, you know what? I'm not even on camera right now anyhow, so <laughs> I'll be back. Two, four, seven. So it wants me to take this 247. Let me switch this view again. It wants me to take this 247 and put it in a G code file. So let's go to the G code files here. Let's print files. Uh. Hmm. I'm a little bit lost here, guys. I would think that I would have access to files in here. I have to mount this other SD card. Here we go. Okay, so looks like to modify these files, you go into this uh, settings, and then you go to system editor, and there's that 
Z axis C probe G. Is that what they said? Machine Z probe G, yeah. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. So is that where I put that value? Oops. Cannot drag. 2.47. All right. That's been done. Now it looks like we go back to machine control and we run our next macro. No homing. Can you hear me now? Yeah, do you hear me? Oh, yeah. Whew, I feel much better now. I think I just dropped the leader. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, going down. Man, Johnny, it's a damn shame you don't look closer, my friend. Yeah, man. Man, I got some sweet potatoes going right now in the grill. Going to throw some chicken on there shortly. I'm, you know, I'm going to do my best to get to Orlando for uh, Orlando Maker Fair. I hope so. We already got Airbnb set up. We'll see. It's just, it's a, it's a bit of money to do all these shows. Well, if you end up, uh, you're bringing a family, right? Or you don't know yet? I don't know. That's part of the, uh, the challenge. Well, if, if part of it works out where you're just coming down, I mean, we got an Airbnb. Just give me advance notice. All I got to do is let them know. That'll save you a little bit right there. Where'd he go? Maybe he didn't hear me. I hear you, Sean. All right. Okay. Touch the nozzle to the bed. You know, I feel I've done this. Yeah, I feel we just went through this about 20 minutes ago with the same screens. <laughs> what the hell is the fly cam looking at? Is something on fire? <laughs> Is it just me? Okay, there you go. It did look like something was on fire, right? Uh, look quite smoky. Six forty-five. Man, I got eleven fifty-four here. And if you do make it down, I hope you remember where that Hooters was we went to last year. Subtract it. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh. I don't even see the point of reading all that. Okay. So uh, <laughs> now you're on my page. <laughs> Looks like it wants me to modify this guy. Just plug it, print. And so the Z is this. It wants me to subtract it. So what is that? That's uh, subtract it from what? From that. So that's 699. Is that right? Sure. Sounds good to me. Oh, man. Give me a calculator. If it sounds good to show me, it's good. 
if you gave me the actual numbers, I could give you an actual number. <clears throat> but I don't know what you're calculating. <clears throat> Dude, I deal with numbers all day long at my job. Yeah, so six, nine. You know what's scary? If I'm off by a quarter of an inch, that's one foot in the field. That's how good I am. Okay. All right, so I did that part. Boom. So I've subtracted it. So it, was it a 669.5? Six, six, uh, yeah, so I got to round up, replace a new maximum Z with the G92 Z value, round it up. So round it up. 670. 370 um, and then save and exit okay so that means I'm going to axis maxima axis dimensions G cool save And it says run the macro again. What was the fastest you got your bench in in that contest? Right now, my fastest successful one is 20 minutes. Okay. Every time I see a bench, I can't help but think of the 1979 movie Popeye with Robin Williams. Um, let me show you my fastest. And... So this is my 30 minute. Is that on screen? Yep. All right, let me. So I guess. Yep, it's a benchy. Yep. Oh, no, it's going away. Okay. We've printed three of those, I think. Uh, maybe my, four. That's my 30 minute. No more. Uh, this is my 20 minute. I have some stringing because I turned off retraction. However, I've decided to turn retraction back on. Now, you know, the contest says you have to print it at Earth. Yeah, yeah. Which is really how they how is anybody supposed to compete in that that doesn't set up for that? You just bring a printer with you. Oh yeah, mate. Let me carry it in my backpack like Mitch. And the problem is, <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh man, I love you, John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Are we coming back in view now? I don't know. Whatever you did, though, you definitely worked your camera out because you're all crispy clean. What? It changed? Yeah. Even your beard's crispy clean right now. Freaking weird. It is. And how much you spend for that camera? Uh, you don't want to know. Yeah, probably not, because I think we're running, what are we running? Logitech 310 here. And that was like, what, 40 bucks, 60 bucks or something? Works for me. I'm going with this. So there's some room for, you see this? This is the problem. What? Is that showing up on screen? Put, put that on the big camera. So, yeah. There's a little, the dot right there? No. So the problem is this bed flexes. Oh, snap. Yeah. Dude, let's see. The, is it a magnetic bed? No, it's it's held on with these stupid clips at the edge. What I might do is flip it over uh, to try to put the, the bend to the middle. Back the camera up, take the bed off, and, and flex it. Let's see both sides. Yeah. Let me – I got a lower Z. Which way is down? Opposite of up. Man, it, I don't have up and down. I have plus and minus, man. Okay. So let's take... So it's probably minus, right? No, it's plus. See? Well, you see? Which way down is. Right. This is why we don't let you work on printers. 
Yeah, I know because one and one is three in the real world. That's my math. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know what? I don't have to work on to be able to do some sweet arts designs and renders. Just not technical like that. You are definitely a master at this, my friend. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. I know. That's the fun part. Back the camera up so we can see a little more. Yeah, it's not going to work. All right. All right. Do what you got to do. So, I think what I need to do, yeah, the heat just makes the one curl. You see, you see that? Yeah, it looks like it's bent up. But it wasn't that way until it started getting warm again. So one side's metal, one side, one side's gray, one side's white. Uh, they're both kind of the same color. I'd be tempted, I guess, to just coat the heated bed with uh, what's that stuff called? Um, PEI. Yeah. We we use used to use PEI and all our stuff, but last tornado we got, we're just using that bed and uh, the Aurora. That black glass is just beautiful. Still use glue stick on everything though. It's unlocked, Sean. This might be the end of this testing today because if I can't get accurate measurements here, I'm never going to get it right. No, if it's flexing like that. I can't even do the those homing. Is it just me or that that flex is worse than the other side? It's the same material, and it bowed. I flipped it. I just bows the other way. Am I really? Right? So I see the bow, but the bow's both ways. I thought it. Yep. Was better on the other side. No, the other side was just as bad. It seems like the bow is getting worse as it gets warmer. I'll take off these clips again. That's a thin bed, too. I just seen the light through that. Yeah. See? So right now the center's touching, but the edges are up. If I put the edges down. Okay. So, is it, yeah, the, the bow's on the other side. It bows in. No. It pops. Yeah. yeah. I see it. Once it pops around, it's going to be stuck. Wow. Uh, so... Uh, I don't think I can do anything with this. I mean, all that money and so many different shortcuts taken on this thing. Yeah, let me find. Let me see if I have a bed. Seat. See, I don't think I can make this work either. But just so you guys can see this, this is this is impressive. Well, that is a Prusa bed. Is that on the screen? Yeah, now it is a little bit. That's the Prusa bed compared to the bed on here. Need both receipts. Wow. It's tiny. <laughs> but yeah, but it doesn't flex like that. It doesn't flex. And I'm gonna do another trick here. I'm gonna tape this sucker down. So when Chris Chris had problems with this too with the flex. Or he just had problems with extruding on his. Can you hear me? I'm not sure where John went. Oh, there he is. I went to get tape. Uh, Chris had problems with the extruder, I believe. He had, I think, the magnetic bed system, which was an upgrade to this. I think that's what he had. Hmm. So this is going to be janky. Is that the word? Well, yeah. okay. 
All right. There, we have a bed. It's pretty. Could you imagine spending all that money not having the knowledge that you have? Imagine me spending that money and coming across all this stupid stuff. All right. I would not be a happy camper. So at I think all. I have to start this over. What did you, are you putting the Prusa bed on there just to home this thing in? Yes. <laughs> you cheating some? <laughs> I See, I didn't, I didn't finish it, but you cheat that so be. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do it then. I'm going to go refill my glass. I'll be right back. <laughs> right. I love it, dude. You cheating some bitch, dude. That's awesome. John's like, I can't make it. I'll fake it. That's so me. Yeah, I just need a sprint yeah. box, man. I want to see something, anything. Uh, it's definitely uh, like the lovely routine. Oh, what's that about to hurt? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Touch the nozzle to the bed. All right, I'm touched. Like the spies like us type of thing. Deploy deploy the control panel to the XLR rocket. Okay. Record the value three eight one. We'll be right back, Johnny. I'm gonna check the grill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Endless pop-ups. Yeah, it's almost ready to put the chicken on, baby. Man, those potatoes are smelling so good. Absolutely scrumptious. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, shoot. Hold on. Is that the right one? Can you hear me? Testies one, two. No? Oh, I hear something. Can you hear me now? I hear you. Okay. Are we on or is it just fly cam? 
Uh, you want to be on screen? Oh, no, I don't care either way. I just want to make sure, can they hear me or not? <laughs> no. So it somehow, like this is how crazy this is. My earpiece fell out, so all my settings went away, <laughs> including my mic, mic settings, my cam settings, everything, so just because the can, earpiece fell out. So can they hear me on YouTube right now? They should be able to hear you. So can they hear you on YouTube right now? I hope Hi, so. Hi, Chris. Okay, Chris can hear me. Chris, can you hear John too? I will assume so. Yeah. We'll That's pretty so. awesome. I love how you're cheating with the proof. So you got one of the actual Prusa Flex. Uh, what was that? What was that bed called? The powder coated bed. Powder coated. Yes, that I never yeah. got. I ended up with a discount on something else and. Nice. Yeah. So they ended up, I waited forever for it. Um, oh my That's goodness. a lot the of freaking messages this. coming up. Yeah. yeah. You see how probes? That I seen. If, if that's a oh. probe, then I hope you got juiced first. Jeez. Plus 2.55. My new value is 372.5 with this bed. Whatever that means. What a pain in the butt. Man, going out tonight, baby. 372. You're going out? Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a shame you're not here. I know. And then it wants me to adjust. Saturday this night's one. karaoke night here, buddy. You know how I love some karaoke. 373. Everybody okay. knows how Johnny loves some karaoke, too. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does. Oh, no, I don't. Love, get up okay, there. Okay, so we set shake that. Shake his butt. <laughs> now, this might drive it nuts. You know what? I don't want to mesh my bed. Forget meshing. Let's let's look at printing. How do we print? What is love? Uh, No. <laughs> Print files here. Do you think there's something actually in here? Probably not since it's 33 bytes. No, there's something in there, but it's just uh -huh. I got to upload the G-code. So I have to slice my own G-code. This thing can't slice for me. Oh, man. Yeah, at that uh, price, it should I tuck know. you in, too. Shit. So <laughs> what, what slicer do you suppose they want me to use for this? Well, you know what I use. What do you use? I use repeater host, which I think is basically For cura, cura inside repeater. Oh, man, I busted a little tit off of that. It's a good thing this is an old version. Oh, hold on. I got a call coming. Okay. What's up, son? I'll put you on so, mute here. Hold on. Hold on one second. Here. Hold on, John. All right. There, all right. Tell me if I'm muted now. What do you think in the beginner's guide they might have a slicing instruction? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Configuring Kira. Now, do you guys get to see this window on screen at all? Probably not. Which window do you see? Oh, you see that window. Interesting. Let me give you that window. Oh my goodness. Shulman is just blabbing on custom printer, blah, blah, blah. All right, 383, 388, 377, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, starting G-code, ending G-code, extruder. Oh, it's a five millimeter no or a 0.5 nozzle. Boom, boom, boom. 
So why would you set all this up only to come down here and import a profile? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe I can share this with y'all. Uh, hmm. I'll do it. You guys will see it. There you go. So you got to go through this whole, what is slicing information? How to download from Thingiverse. Then it runs you through adding a printer to Cura. And you set up this complete custom printer with G codes. Set up your extruder. Pretty simple stuff. But then it says, come download a profile. It's like, why am I downloading a profile if I just set everything up? Profile, 0.4 millimeter layer height. That is coarse. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I don't need their profile. Forget all that. I'm using my Prusa slicer here. Can I share that? It's pretty easy. I probably can't. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes, yes. Um, application window, Prusa slicer, share. Cool. How's that look? Awesome. And do we have any chat? Hey, Jake from State Farm. What's up, Jake? Okie dokie. So let's go to printer settings. Let's get some of this stuff set. Bed shape. Uh, what was it? About 380? Good enough for me, man. Cool. I don't know what the heck's going on with some people, but jeez, dude. Look, I got nothing but love for my boy Heath. I've known him since Fun Village. I mean, like, elementary and then... 383 on the X. 388 on the X. Man, he... I don't know. You don't need all them pills. You don't have to have a safe zone and not stress. What? Whatever. What? I don't know, dude. <laughs> a buddy of mine I've known since we were really young, he just all of a sudden here lately, he is just so stressed out. He's on this and that, and he can't get out of his comfort zone. And it's like, wow, dude. Chill out. Hmm. Yeah, exactly, good, Jake. What's up, buddy? What's up, Matt? I guess Marlin's fine, right? Cool. Custom G code. Let's get something in here. Custom Starting G code. G code. That sounds like a Boom. NWA song. Yep. Cool. Ending G code. Layer change G code. I don't think that matters, but let's go ahead and maybe I should have just done add new printer. If I save it, is that going to make me save over the old one? Sure. I'll just start it over. So what are you doing this weekend, Jake, from State Farm? Are you wearing khakis? <laughs> what are you printing right now, Matt? Any sweet projects? I seen, was it you that was doing the Catwoman? Did I see that on uh, Twitter? I don't know. There's so many twats on tweets and whatever you want to call it. Who knows? <laughs> Too many twats account. <clears throat> Cool, cool, cool. Extrusion temperature. Uh, bed temperature. I'll go to 60. I did 210. I like it hot. Me too. Cool. I should have a new printer. Well, now. I live in Florida. Yeah. Oops.
Okay. I thought that was, yeah, you're assembling that right now, Jake. Just some sweet prints. I assume the supports weren't too bad. Didn't look like it anyhow. Cool. Cool. Whatever. Yeah. Did you whatever. just whatever me? Or, no, or are you no, whatever I'm that? To this printer. Yeah. Oh. They were height what, limits. What did the really printer care. have to say about that? Uh, you know, it has its problems. Retraction length. I wonder what retraction I want out of this. You know what? I don't care. What should we print, Sean? Any of our designs. <laughs> Filament settings. Kind of normal. I know somebody's got like 250 designs on Thingiverse. Any of like Sean's many designs. Factories. I'm looking for something fast. We have a lot of fast ones. Yeah. You can print our maker coin. I don't remember that one. Is that a good one? That's why you should print it. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go for a uh, file Stand I already straight have. Up. Uh, there you go. Sorry, bud. What is this? I'm you scared to show tease. you. Ah, pretty easy there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That should be easy. Now, I know with this one... There's an issue, so I need That's to... That's what she into, said, and then I couldn't fix my belt. And let's make it a point for compensation to fix the issue. Cool. Slice. Export. What are you even oh, printing, yeah. dude? Test. It's it's the state of Maryland in a keychain form. So you can so print I, our, our keychain logo. Yeah, but that means I gotta find it and download it, and that oh sounds so hard. God. Yeah, okay. See, you get you get it. I, I do, I do. Yeah. That's that's one of the reasons you, my boy. You get it. <laughs> okay, uh, let me switch back to because I shouldn't need slicer too much more. So I'm going to add back in. Oh, we're the Brady Bunch again. There's yes. a story about a fucked up printer. Oh my goodness. The oh. I forgot. My bad. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's now upload some G code files. The flexible bed to print. Cool, dude. Got it. Awesome. Promega test. Yes, yes, yes. Close. Do you want to run it? Sure. Let's see what happens. Crash and burn. Dude, I was born in Baltimore. I wouldn't print that keychain. Yeah. So I put together a how to start making money in 3D printing course for my uh, 3D printing meetup. And the example I decided to use was to start a keychain business based around states. And you would just print all 50 states. I'm um, sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'm a horse's ass. What? My bad. I didn't know you did the design. No, like it's a crap design. That's not the, the point. Is not the design. I didn't make a design. I downloaded a, um, uh, you know, here's Maryland, type of thing. Nobody's gonna draw a state. I'll draw oh, Colorado. We'll give you a skewed state. Yeah. Oh yeah, my state's usually skewed. I bet. Uh. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Matt, what are you working on this weekend, buddy? Is it printing? I hear noises. I see it doing stuff. <laughs> well, between noise and doing stuff, something's happening. So one, it's moving very slowly. Yeah, I see. Dude, very, very slowly. What the hell? very slowly. Did you set that? And Ten? it's not even. It's not even touching the bed. I see filament. Oh, I see filament just moving with the extruder. <laughs> yeah, but it's weird. So how do I? Wanted like fifteen. How do I stop this print? When all this else fails, listen. unplug it. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Why is it moving so slow, man? What did you have the speed set at? <sighs> I don't know. You think I paid attention? <laughs> Dude, I'm too broke to pay attention. Print settings, speed. Let's see. 
It says 60. That was not 60, dude. That uh, was maybe maybe 16. Look how slow it's moving. Like even now when it's trying to, I think, home. Oh, uh, check, check all your plugs. Something's got to be loose. They're plugged in. Uh, I don't think anything's loose. Oh, I think oh, that oh. I think something maybe in that start G code told the printer to start crawling. Well, maybe you should have just printed our design, Turkey. Just saying. That's what I don't get. <laughs> so, to start the G-code, they move the platform down 15. Where do they move it back up? What does the platform moving have to do with the speed? Well, that that's a whole other thing, right? Um, what is F200? And if they move the platform down, well, that explains why the filament didn't grab, but still, that was really slow. It's still moving. <laughs> I can't believe how slow this thing is. I can't see it. All we can oh, see is goodness. the overview. It's moving so slowly, yeah, you wouldn't notice that it's moving. Home all. No, I mean, ah. back the camera up a little bit. Uh, let, me, let me find my camera view just so I know what I'm looking at. You're looking at stream yards or on YouTube. Do you see it slowly drifting? Like this thing is crawling. Oh, is your ham? Is your camera hooked up to the hot end? Yeah, no, it's not. We don't see the hot end at all. So on this interface it says it requests a speed one millimeter a second that's not my request of speed go faster is there a way i can make this thing go fast You're going to have to back the camera out a little bit. Yeah, I need to figure this out, though. You want to go ahead and kill the stream and figure it out and do this on another stream? Why? Oh, I don't know. I'm just asking you. No, because, uh, I mean, one, we already have an issue with... Uh, the stupid print bed. I think it's the F200. I don't know why they would do that. So in their star G code, they said F200. I think maybe that's causing it. We'll kick the cameras back. Yeah. That is a sweet looking bed from Prusa, though. <laughs> that bed actually is not Prusa's. That is a knockoff by Matter Hackers. Really? Yeah, so you can buy it from Matter Hackers. It's not the cheapest, though. Um, who has the cheapest? I think Prusa might still be the cheapest, and now you can get them, so you should have no problems ordering it now. I got a glue stick. Okay. I got a build tax spatula. I like <laughs> I like the um, texture, though, a lot. Oh, the texture looks sweet. Yeah. Zoom in a little bit. Show uh, that off. Especially for being a knockoff. Yeah, so I think. Oh, yeah. Chris, uh, what's his name? So, now, what, what size is that right there? The sheet, 250 by 210. And how much was that? Matter Hackers is most expensive. I think it was 80. Holy cow. Yeah. You got that cheaper from Prusa. Yeah, I said Chris is cheaper. And they're a knockoff. 
What happens if I upload the same file name? Wow. Do they really think that her? Never mind. Anyhow. <laughs> Yeah, you know, um, you know, you know, you know what? You are my brother from another mother, so I, I feel you, and I know you just felt that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, go ahead and kick our cameras back. Let's do Brady Bunch. What happens if I do like a G one F two thousand something like that? No. <sighs> this is driving me nuts. That's why we want to see the camera to see your frustration as you're working this out. Yeah. So, and it could be Prusa Slicer doing this to me on purpose. There are all kinds of things you can set in here. So we do have limits on speed or on feed rates. We have acceleration limits, which seem fine. We have that um, minimum feed rates we have. So there's like many ways that you can reduce the speed of the printer. And any one of those could be causing this. Or it could be something completely independent. See right, right. here is like a max print speed. Like if you set all these up here and you don't pay attention to this. Uh, well, see, it's hard to, all, all you're zoomed in right now is the flex plate. Oh. And it's screen i'm okay. gonna go stir the stuff on the grill i'll be right back but seriously you should always have a camera focus on what you're working on and yourself i'm not on there no you're not you're just showing the one screen with the flex plate that's why mm -hmm. i said put the brady bunch up you should always have your people feed off your frustration of working on it so you i don't want that one though Put the Brady Bunch on. It is the Brady Bunch. No, that's the the main screen here is the technical stuff, and then we're three screen. How about that? As, as long enough. as you're working on something, that's good enough. Just back the camera up so we can see what you're doing. Right now, it's zoomed in on the plate. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing with software right now. Okay. All right. You play with yourself, and I'm going to go flip my potatoes. I'll be right back. You go play with your potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my goodness oh. Uh, how's everybody else doing? Sholm's flipping his potatoes.
I gotta fix the speed. Does anybody have any any ideas on that? All right. It's going to take forever. What? If it's something we need, we do not take care of it. Listen to me, though. Listen to me. If it's something we actually need that will help benefit and will help you better, faster, and more detailed, I can stuff with you. You let me know. You put it in Amazon cart and you let me know. And I will make sure we get it. <laughs> Speak that, I need you to hunt down. Uh, how can I mute him? That will do everything in all the programs. All right, I'm muted him. <laughs> uh, poor Sean. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the speed. It's still trying to home this thing. I could reconnect. I don't need this cable anymore. That can go. I could just power off and power on and see if that fixes it. Let's try that. I muted you, buddy. 
Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, yeah, you had a lot of conversation in the background. I'm, I, th I thought when I unplugged this, it was all muted. I, I nah. really am sorry, John. No worries. I, I have no problems. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to make my son understand that if he needs something for his computer and it's business related, the business will pay for it. Yeah. Okay, you can unmute me if you want. If not, I feel you. You, you. you are unmuted. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. Anybody have to listen to my ramblings? <laughs> okay. So, I don't know what happened with the speed there. This thing is crawling. Hopefully, it's uh, better now. So, let's see what happens if we try to. What did you adjust on it? Yeah, see, now it's better. Oh, uh, yeah. I, you adjust? I turned it off and on again, man. <laughs> when all else hey. fails, reboot. Yeah, man. Did you try turning it off and on again? <laughs> right. That's fun. All right, so it's going through a homing routine now. Let's see what happens. Just threw the chicken on the grill, baby. sure what he's printing oh there he is okay let's get this back up here <clears throat> touch the nozzle to the bed You like the lighted nozzle. You can do that on any printer. You should do it. Yeah, like I don't have enough crap going on. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I would, but you know, I got real life going on, John. All right. You know, I tell you what, if I definitely find out you're going to Orlando, and if you're heading, and I meant what I said, I mean, if it's just you heading there, you got room at the Airbnb, you just got to take the sofa couch or the couch sofa, whatever you want to call it, sleeper sofa, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I might bring a printer up there, have you help me uh, fix a couple things and show me some of this technical aspect as we're just designers dude yeah no problem man it's doing its thing where it goes very slow i think oh it's not moving right now right <laughs> it might be <laughs> no, no, no i think it's heating up <laughs> okay i was gonna say dude because that's like really slow <laughs> no i think it's heating up <laughs> <laughs> now it's moving. I don't okay. know. So, um, what screen are we on right now? Are you guys able to see my? No, screen? I don't hold it. I see it going down. Yeah, I see it moving a little bit. Yeah, get rid of the text screen. Put it up. No, I'm, right I'm trying to. I'm trying to show something here. You see these speeds here? That's requested speed of seven millimeters a second. I think that's what I'm fighting. Why is it? It's an automatic setting at seven millimeter. Yeah, who knows?
I think it might be trying to print. Did you change at seven? No. It's changing itself. It might be the G code doing it, but the G code should be set to um, at least 20. You know what I hear? I hear the nozzle. It's saying, oh, get this filament the hell off me. I'm suffocating. Are you? Can we see anything on there yet? I can't from this angle, but I'm betting that's probably happening. Darn thing. Well, while we're looking at not a darn thing, there's the first of our latest fourth <clears throat> version, third version, whatever. Ooh. More detailed body of the it's the first part of the body of the dragonfly stuff is squirting okay oh okay oh, oh wait i thought i seen something on the edge yeah i see something we're definitely not close enough to the bed yeah no it's it's all around the yeah i see something yeah is there a way to lower or change there's the a big booger on there dude yeah all right pick the booger I don't need that. I need some sort of offset. Are you raising the bed? No, I want to low. I want to. Yeah. Well, technically, I want to raise the bed, right? Yeah. Oh, you can't do it manually because this is one of the printers where the bed lowers, right? I've never yeah. had one. What, what's that printer called again? Special name for it? Promega. No, I. I mean, for the printers where the bed moves up and down instead of the nozzle. Uh, well, there's several types that do that. Is there a special name for that style? It's not linear or some stupid thing. So you have you have things like uh, Core XY or HBOT. Yeah, but those are individual printer names. All right, so aside from the bed being too far away, I think it's printing. It's going to be a big mess, so you don't tighten it up. Yeah, whatever. Of course, it is only a little keychain, so how big a mess could it be? Yeah, so there's where the filament feeds in. I, I just, I'm not a huge fan of this path. It seems like it tugs it right over the uh, rod. Uh, right into the extruder there. Um, the other, what other way just, would you bring it? I would like it to go more up and then more like a straight down in. Um, oh, you'd just, rather it jog up and then back down? Or, or just probably just come in. I, I want it coming in at a straight down angle into the extruder. This bend going around that just doesn't seem efficient. Um, I'm impressed that the extruder is actually pulling the material through this tube because it has a lot of friction. So I'm quite impressed that it's actually able to do this. Uh, for an improvement, I would probably just feed the whole filament up and over like they do on the um, Ultimaker. But then you lose the ability to have the top. Yep, baby steps, Chris, baby steps. Right so, on. Let's see. Is that on screen, guys? You can kind of see Maryland coming out. Uh, kick the temp. Kick it up just a little bit. Kick up the temp? No, the camera, actually. Oh, the camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Or. Yeah, it looks really fat, though. Definitely just a little too high in the bed. Can I do this? Come on. No, that won't work, guys. Sorry. Actually, that was looking good. Yeah, it won't hold. So. Well, okay. Is that is that on screen, Sean? Uh, no. Go up a little. 
There you go. Now you can at least see the print. Yeah, it's, that's some fat layers, buddy. <laughs> that is, uh, what is it? it that is, I'm glad it stuck set. to the bed as it rolled out the same thickness it rolled in. <laughs> 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 that's exactly what that is. That just reminded me, we got mowed the yard this weekend. <laughs> this thing has to go faster. Dude, that is not even forty. I don't know what temp what what speed you set that at, but that's not that's like that's got to be maybe twenty, maybe so, bottom layer. So because it's bottom layer, uh, it's probably twenty, but it seems slower than twenty to me. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of twists and turns in it. I think that's a good twenty, but mm. I don't think it's any faster than that. I mean, the if you think about all the turns and Yeah, the on-screen says it's running at five. Um, let me see. What? At five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, what do I know, dude? I've been up since like 1.30 and enjoying my tasty beverage. So, yeah, I'll go with whatever you say. And it says it's running five. I call bullshit. There's no way that's <laughs> Yes, I will totally contradict what I just said. That's a little faster than five. Oh. Did you figure out how to adjust the height, or we're just going to keep it? Like uh, I'm just going to let it run. As long as it doesn't start moving around, uh, it should continue to print. It looks like... The print had an allergic reaction. Yeah. Yeah. I think it got stung. <laughs> so where is it? So over in the speed section at the top left area, you can see it's running like 6.7, and it keeps changing. Four, six Move your mouse in the area you're talking about when you're doing it. Uh, can you see my mouse? Yes, we can. That oh. area? Yeah, it's not top left. It's top left, right? It's like three down, but yeah. We so this it. this is top left. Yep, that's this top left. This is top right. Do we have our coordinate system right? <laughs> Man, Johnny, you should be in the Special Olympics. Maybe the mouse doesn't work just right. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> It might be my mouse. It, it, it's made by Apple. And for anybody who's going to jump on my ass for saying that, dude, I have an uncle. I helped him train and compete in the Special Olympics in the 80s, so I don't want to hear your feedback. <laughs> I'm not PC, but I'm just saying. That's factual. I only did that for you, John. All right. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, why did I invite his ass on here? You're always invited, Sean. Yeah, I know. I know. I got nothing but love for you, my friend. I just got to figure out why these speeds are so slow. Yeah, that's really weird. I, what did the the settings are showing five? Can you move that up? No, it doesn't seem. There has to be a way, though. There has to be like a, a thing where you can say go faster, right? So... Why don't you print? Why don't you slice your own print and run it instead of this and see what happens? Ooh, I found where I can make this thing. Oh, here's Speed Factor. Well, there you go. Oh, let's take this up 245. Well, if it's going 5%, you should run that at least 450. 450%? Oh, yeah. Uh, 300 is max. <laughs> Okay. That shows, that shows how awesome I am. I found some offset stuff too. Time and a half max. Oh, you found okay. So, so what was, if what I redo it, I can at? change the offset. It's at zero offset right now. So but then you want to put it at like a plus ten? No. Um probably Minus a negative. 10? Yeah, probably a negative um not ten. Okay. Well, I'm now, thinking, earlier you said the bed was going down with the plus. 
Now you're writing a negative. Uh, you did say that because you yes. called me an idiot for not knowing that. The bed goes down with a plus. I want to lift the bed so I get more squish. You're right. My bad. So yeah, I, I, I would go at least a plus 10. At least to start, anyhow. I mean, it's fat, but it's stuck. I think a plus 10 will be a beautiful first layer porn. Well, this is this is going to be some chunky layer porn. <laughs> That's all right. It's all pink in the middle. Oh my goodness! This, no, this is uh, Atomic Silky Red Ribbon PLA. <laughs> I, it might it might just look pink on the screen. That, that's why I said that because I knew what color you had in there. Yeah, it, the fly cam might be showing it as a pink, but it's actually like a red. And yeah, see, it's all pink in the middle. That's the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what infill I used. Uh, I wonder what World Series that was that they had the awesome save right at the end. <laughs> no, I don't really watch baseball. Okay, why didn't it move faster if I turned it up? You did not turn it up yet. But do I have to hit a commit button? I cranked All this right. to 300. John, stop what? this print, reset it, run your new settings. Because it's not going to change. That is the same speed, the same height. It's been running the whole time. Well, I'm not changing the height. I thought you just said you're going to do plus 10. Well, it, or for the next print. Well, go ahead and stop it. You see the speed. Yeah, Run it. Speed. Do everything right now. No. Nah. Okay. I want to see it finish. It's, it's I working. I wouldn't listen to me either, but I'm right. It's working. Just saying. It's working. It's good. That's what I told her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why did I invite you again? Because you loves me. <laughs> uh, the only thing I have going for me is nobody's watching. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Does it tell me how many viewers I got? <laughs> yeah, you had like two. Two? <laughs> you and me? Yeah, when I jumped on. Yeah, I think that was Chris <laughs> jumped on at once. Jake was on at one time. Uh, oh, there's Chris. He's still here. My layer time might be overriding the speed. Uh, so I guess that could be possible. Um, like I said, there are dozens of areas where you're your crap can slow you down. So my filament minimum layer time uh, is five seconds. Oh no, that's pretty good. But I can make it one second. <laughs> that's that's a, that's twenty percent, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I have no problems cranking things. Nor do I. I just normally don't do it on my printers. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is an ugly print. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Bright. It is the puffy print. All right. So my settings right now, our first layer is at 30 mill millimeters a second, which isn't bad. You know I what? Mean, if this actually prints proper, I want it. I want the puffy Marilyn printed. <laughs> yeah. I claimed it. Define proper. <laughs> well, if it actually holds up and I can put it on my ring, that's proper. Oh, it probably I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's looking freaking hard. It's looking like half a little organ off a squirrel. And I feed them like every day, dude. <laughs> this thing needs to come out. What's that? Yeah. 
I mean, it, it'll be a piece. Try a bigger print. Uh, yeah, I might do that. I just want to see if Try I Try a different print. I know somebody has got like 250. Really? It's online. And they probably have another 200 that you can just ask for. Or I, any specialty thing because you're my boy. I would do for free. But just I saying, like, I mean, if you do somebody like that. Yeah. I, I mean, I would like to see uh, or meet somebody who has that many designs. Right? Yeah. Right? If somebody that's actually already done, I think, one or two things. For, I, don't, I don't know. I'm looking right now for one of yours. I mean, I have time. I have a lot of time. Time. Yep. Uh, a skewed view 3DS shield. Let's take that one. Oh, you're going to do our shield? Uh, you know our what? logo shield's actually pretty awesome. You know what? Hold on. Put put the cameras back up, and I'll show you our full-size printed one. The camera's not up? No, it's uh, it's on the hot end. Are you put it you? on the Brady Bunch. There you yeah, go. I'll be right back. All right. Well, it prints slow well enough. <laughs> oh, shit. What the hell? I'm like stepping all over crap. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you can probably hear me now. I forgot that. I hear you. Uh, I got to be plugged in to hear you. Uno mas, por favor, mi puta. Man, I'm looking for an easy print. Did Is you hear all easy? that crap? I heard you. <laughs> Hellboy coin. Uh, so, this is a 3D print. Trying to get the whole thing in here. Damn, my camera sucks. That's a 3D printed version. And then check this out. Yannick, he's sending us a 3D. Actually, it's a Castic Daedric bow we designed. Our buddy over at LumaTube. He sent us this last year. And you know this, John. You held this shit up. I got your picture. Yeah. You were the perfect Viking with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you were <it>, dude. <laughs> this with the yeah, hammer? Absolutely. Yeah, you should definitely print that, dude. Or print whatever you want to print. I'm printing the Hellboy Hellboy coin. That's an awesome coin too. Mostly because, well, it's a quick print. Maybe I'll stand it up. Should I stand it up? Yes. Yeah. We Print it standing on its end. Never lay it down, dude. You don't get all the detail. And with that filament right there, that that's an awesome choice. All right. So what? I have to use supports. Uh, yeah, you can. Ooh, this is rough. All right, so my print settings right now, I'm doing a three. Let's try it. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Let's try a point two. You know, I just noticed in the last few weeks, John. What's up? Dude, I got like three or four. I got a couple gray hairs right here. Up in my actual hair, dude. Damn it, man. What the hell? I was so dignified. It was all just right here on my chin. What are we going to do? It's starting to spread. <laughs> Seriously, though, this is either very dignified or I should shave it and bring back mutton chops. What do you think? Uh, you know, stick with it, man. 
I know lots of things. What? What? Stay what? With it. Stay with it. Do it. You need a little more gray in your beard, my friend. Yeah, I wonder if I can buy a dye that'll turn my hair gray. No, you just need to shave it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it'll come in thicker. Shave it all off, huh? Actually, you know what? Probably not. It's not going to grow as fast as you think. Just half of it. Let's do this. Um, let's do four and you should put a camera on your splicer. Twenty. Yeah. So, man, I'm tired of flipping these cameras. <laughs> you always want the camera flipped. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm tired of fucking with these cameras. You gonna be a hard time like a half hour. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Oh, dude. I got chicken on the grill. I got to go check that shit. I'm oh, you're right. burning that. <laughs> no, it's all about the temperatures and how you do it. It's all about the temps. About the temps. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, seriously. I got to check it out. I'll be back. Hmm. If I remember to take my lapel mic off. Ooh, this thing is ugly. You know what I should probably do? Is see if they have a new firmware. Uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Nope, I don't want that. Some Simplify 3D add-ons. All right. Hey, show! So this isn't bad. I mean, it's not great. We have some problems with the bed. We 
well, I have a speed problem. Mostly I, I'm new to Duet. So trying to figure out how to make this Duet go, the actual speed I'm telling it to move is uh, interesting. Um, I hear it clicking. It reminds me of an extruder click. I think it's a friction problem. That's me. <clears throat> so these tubes, I don't think they're actual uh, PTFE tubes. So they might have more friction than expected. It is printing. <laughs> that's that's a good thing. You don't want to cut your brother out. Man, I burnt the heck out of myself out there. Oh, no. You okay, bud? Yeah, I'm all right, dude. It's typical. Just knuckles. Oh. Uh, uh, what I missed? What are you printing? Uh, it's Still printing Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, it's almost done, man. What Another do you got going on after it? Uh, Hellboy coin. <laughs> Stand straight up. Did you add supports or not? Yeah, I, I turn on supports. I'm afraid, though, that the, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm afraid the speed is still going to be slow. I like I don't know why. It. I remember when yeah. they came out in the 80s. Great candy yeah. bar. You can still get it. I know. We're old, but so are other people. Seriously, that Hellboy coin, I print it both ways, with and without. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You, uh, without, you definitely need a good brim. But it is a coin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know what you're saying. But the supports come off real easy. It's a good design. The supports on a good printer come off real easy. Yeah, but dude, you got that. Uh, I, you know what? I th I think this printer is going to be beautiful. Yeah. The bed, the cheated part of the bed. The problem with this printer, in my opinion, since we're on this video for all to see, John, you invited me. That's your mistake. Um, the problem with the printer is it lacks so much for the price tag that it should have, it yes. should do, and you should not worry about. I mean, for that price tag, which take a lot for me has an independent fly by night in the evening with my boys set up business startup that's a lot of money that's like our whole year's annual budget to spend on and to have all that extra and all that stuff not work dude that's not cool. yes really it's not cool at all when i can spend a quarter of the price and get all the functions that that should have within three inches of the print build. Just saying. But John, you know me. What do I know? I'm just an idiot. Ha! Huh. I wouldn't say that. Print duration, 30 minutes. Layer time, two and a half minutes. That is ridiculous. Now, on the positive side, it's a beautiful looking printer. I'd love the promise of this printer i don't like the undeliverable aspect of the promise of this printer from what i've seen from this so video. far yeah I, I feel the same um i think there's a lot of little things that that you know it would have been 
It should it's, have been done. So many of the little things that build up to make a major. Are you serious with this price point? Yeah. yeah. Dude, Please, I love my hat, John. I don't wear hats, but I, I absolutely love Josh's grandma's yeah. designed hat. Yeah. I, I like the color. I get a lot of comments on it, too. Um, but it really should have, like, an enclosure around some of these electronics. I mean, I, I don't want to see this bare stuff on the back. No, the it's a, if I'm paying that price, like I told you before, if I'm going to pay a price that's naked, that's a totally different stream. Yeah. Um, I don't really like this bowed up metal piece back here, which it almost seems like they did it on purpose. Sure. Put the camera on it so we can see what you're looking at. Yeah. Otherwise, so all we can see is your hips and your ass in the swim trunks. Yep. <laughs> They're not swim trunks. They're my, uh, <laughs> he just sat down. <laughs> I was sitting down. I'm trying to adjust this. Okay. So this metal piece right here is bowed up, and it's it's gonna be hard to capture that bow. Back, back, hold on, back it up. No, you can see it. You can see it right there. Yeah, that's a hell of a bow. I don't get yeah, it. You can see it. I don't get why it's doing that. Right. The other problem I have is right here. It's very easy to move the motors just by pressing on. This this metal is so thin. This this motor uh, moves very easy, but maybe a bracket. Don't go for those potatoes. No, that doesn't make any sense. You know, I really do like the the uh, what is it? Linear rail. Linear rails. Yeah. These things in here. Yeah, I like that, and I like the uh, it's dual head. A dual head. Yeah, you only print the one color, though, the whole time. Yeah. Is it I, because it's so slow, we don't see the other color? I definitely don't want to push this thing any more than getting one color right now. Um, oh, my gosh. But this that mess, price? right? Oh. It's like, cover this. That Yeah, no, that's horrible. Oh, wait. I remember that. That was in Terminator after he lost half his face, and it was. <laughs> it's a T800 yeah. without its exoskeleton skin. Yeah, you would definitely think you'd have a lot more. You, you know what, though? The drives, everything else seem. The, the motors, stepper motors look awesome. Yeah, they. Uh... I mean, they don't have any markings on them. I don't know if it's a particular brand or anything. No, but they look sweet. This is M3D. Yes. Dude, M3D, really? And they got the duck. <laughs> Dude, I love your mascot. Quack, 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 Mother Hubbard. Tighten up. Yeah, they have a duck. Oh, the duck thing. That's uh Is that stream yards. That's stream yards. Unless I pay money, wow. that stays there. Okay, well that's cool. I like that with the whole mallard design. Yeah, it's it's free though. <laughs> so eh. yeah, but damn M3D. Come on. Come on. I mean, it looks like a beautiful printer. It looks like some quality parts. But it looks like we kind of skipped a few steps and jumped ahead here and backtracked here. And yeah. It's like the stupid little simple stuff that we bypassed. Is it just me or? No, I, I mean, there are definitely some areas of this printer I would have changed before release. Um, the industrial look, I don't mind. I don't mind that it's like this bare. No, brushed, I love the industrial look. Brushed metal. But yep. how about cover up some of this electronics? I mean, that, that really. Yeah, that's that's it's fun. like the burlesque of 3D printing. <laughs> now, at a $1,000 price point, which it is now, it maybe is not so bad. You can perhaps live with uncovered electronics but yeah you're you're more in a prusa range with 
time yeah. and a third the, the printing surface. So that you can live with. But I mean, at what did you say, 3,500 original? I, I believe it was 3,500 original. <sighs> Man, someone's got a hell of a crack addiction. <laughs> uh, uh, it does seem to be printing. I mean, there's absolutely areas like the bed I can't use at all. Um, it, I, I, I love the whole dual fan design and stuff on the hot end. Yeah. I mean, I like a lot of this printer, but the problem with the speed, and you still have well, you said you adjusted it, and yet I'll it's fix the speed right there. <laughs> I'll fix the speed. I got to figure out what it is. This is me not knowing Duet. Um, and I didn't use their slicer. Maybe I should use their slicer. Well, how, how long before this print's done, you start the next one? Uh, is it doing top layers yet? It hasn't started top layers yet. <clears throat> uh, so probably another 30 minutes. Well, at least your shorts match your hat, my friend. Oh, thank you. Why do you keep checking out my shorts, man? Because you keep standing up, putting your ass in the camera. At least I have shorts on. Shoot. You know, it's funny. Since I got rid of the cable, uh, I don't know, like two months ago, I've been we watching all these series from every which way. And one of them is NYPD Blue. Do you know that that show? Yeah, that, that was a show where they had a first nude ass on it or something. Dude, now you just said that. I remember when I was a kid, there was a show. My mom always commented on she really liked Jimmy Smith's. And, oh, Jimmy Smith's ass. Unfortunately, it's NYPD Blue. It's a great show, but, damn, I don't need to see Jimmy Smith's ass so much in the damn thing. When I think of Jimmy Smith now, I think of the Star Wars movies, you know. He was the one senator. He was Princess Leia's father. Damn. All right. Why did he found it? All right. So I found the software update, finally. Oh, I thought you already updated this. No. Let me update the software. Oh, but it's from 2018. I should have this update. Damn, that's an old ass update. 2018. Okay, hold on. Let me go. Like, I'm I on the latest release. Printer. Let me go to unreleased or pre release or whatever they call it. All right. While you do that, I'm going to go flip chicken. I'll be right back. Oh, is it done? No, it's not done. I'm going to flip it. No, the print. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Before I go, wow, look at that. <laughs> Dude, I bet you can break that apart layer by layer. I might submit this to the Earth Ugly Print Competition. If yeah, Earth. Earth done sold out this year. I've seen it. <laughs> wow. I'll be right back. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's fragile. Pretty nerve. Thank goodness for Barney, please, for his bullshit. We're not hey. Okay. <sighs> Let's try to update this software. It's mute, Sean. <laughs> okay. Where did the software go?
So this is scary, guys. Looking at their software and everything else, they haven't done any updates in like eight months. Uh, the fact that they've also lowered this price from the 3500 original price to 1000 makes me think that they are no longer going to be making this once they sell out of their uh, back orders. So, oh, good. This is the SD structure updated with ProMega 1.23 in mind. How do I know which version of ProMega I have? Oh, man. Is this thing? <sighs> oh, there we go. I don't know if this is how I should update the software, but I'm just going to drop the files on this card and see what happens. Okay. Let's look at the card. Date modified. Watch first, thanks. Okay, I watched his video. All right. So this might not be any different than what I just downloaded. So I already have this release. I don't know. I don't think there's anything different here. G codes. What do they have under G codes? Nothing. Printer setup macros. Yeah, guys. Oh, I guess that's different. This is April 25th. This is May 6th. Okay, so I do have some differences. So let me take this, put it on the card. Uh, I don't want to put the video on a card. Drag and drop. Replace everything. Okay. While it's setting up that card, 
we'll get this going. See Shom's back. Cause I can really focus when I'm like. Okay. He's playing music. I am not playing Shom. Shom, I'm keep keeping you muted until you turn that music off, man. You're gonna get me in trouble. What's he doing? Singing? <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> All right, guys. We're hooked up. Let's see what happens here. Can you hear me now? I hear you now, man. I didn't know how you felt about music. Uh, I like music a lot, but if I put it on my stuff, it's going to get taken down or something. With all our language and everything else, do you think it matters now? Uh, I don't know, man. Curious. I, I tried to use good language. You do, but you don't. <laughs> try try is a three-letter word. Try is a three-letter word. Can, well, I'll tell you what. Let me, let me approach it a different way. Do you care if I play a song? I do, man. Okay, then I won't. I, it would be cool if we could somehow figure out how to like do that on your channel. Dude. I do it on my channel all the time. But you delete your vi videos all the time. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this video to have to be deleted. No, I won't do it. That's I, why might edit I, it. I might edit it up to, uh, if I ever get this thing working, to kind of like show or something. I don't know. All good, buddy. Yeah. So I'm heating up the bed. I downloaded the latest software. It looks like it was updated May 6th. And I have April only about you know five months ago. No problem. Yeah, they haven't done any updates to any of their software in about five months. They also reduced the price of this from three thirty five hundred to a thousand. I think they're giving up because they used to have they used to have a couple guys working on this. Um, you know, I, I want to say full time or something, and. Not having an update in five months does not indicate full time to me anymore. How long have you been growing that beard, son? Uh, I don't know. I shaved it last week, but it shit, keeps that's back. like a freaking ferret on your face. Yeah. Holy cow! How long? Um, I want to say six years. Wow. Uh, yeah, I need to shave then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, like I don't know. it's it seems like it grows very quick in the beginning and then it like slows down. Do you trim it? Sometimes. I probably need to. I, I should probably just take like that much off. Yeah, I think when I first met you it was that much off. <laughs> Yeah, it was definitely. Actually, I have video to prove it wasn't that long. Yeah, maybe I'll do it. Take off some. Get rid of this bottom stuff. Well, I tell you what, if you end up down here, you better not crash too early. <laughs> um, then I will not stay with you, Sean. Come on, you know I'm just messing with you. <laughs> No, I will not stay with you. 
Okay, I gotta move the Z thing again. It's definitely moving a lot faster. Well, during this part, it always had. You know, I'm just messing with you, John. I'd never do that, buddy. And you always have a spot. Deploy the Z probe. Even if you wear the Chicago Bears bathing suit, it's all good. Yeah. Did I remember the Bears? What was it? The Super Bowl? Super Bowl rap? Super Bowl? What was it? Oh my gosh. Come on. You know it. How would I know it? Shoot. Super Bowl Shuffle. That's what it was. 1985, 86. 145. I knew you know it because you old like me. I am old like you. Remember the Super Bowl shuffle? No. I'm not that old. Sorry. It's like 85, 86. I was 12, 13. I remember the video. It came out on MTV, too. They're all trying to rap and stuff. I remember that one movie. Oh, Wildcats with Goldie yeah, Hunt. I love right that. Right See, that was that was actually just before that. It's like two years. I think Wildcats was eighty three. Super Bowl Shuffle was eighty five when they won it. Oh, I don't know. I, I stopped watching football after my boy Barb retired. I don't mind uh, the Goldie Hawn movies. I used to watch them all. Dude, I love Overboard with her and her hubby, Kurt yep. Russell. Did you see the new one? No, I can't bring horrible. myself to watch it. That's horrible. Yeah, see, exactly. I yeah. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Because I almost watched it the other day. I was just like, I can't. Don't do it. No, thank you. I like Anna Ferris. She's funny as shit. But I, mean, I just I couldn't do that remake. With you had a feeling. Movie. You had a feeling that it was horrible. You knew it. <laughs> I knew. Just like the new Ghostbusters. I will never watch that shit. If <laughs> Ghostbusters three is coming out, they're filming it right now. I will never watch that reboot it crap. Are you serious? Does that make me a misogynistic, racist bigot because I will not watch it, don't agree with the whole premise of it? Apparently, according to Twitter, it does. Because you don't like the movie? Yeah. They automatically, anybody that disagrees with it is all this and that. It's typical. Although I just heard rumor Bill Murray may not be taking part in it. If Bill Murray's not in it, you bring the rest back, that's not as good. Oh. Now, granted, uh, Herod Ramis is passed. They should have done it before now, but they all joined up, what was it, about 10 years ago, 15 years ago for the Ghostbusters video game. All the original actors came in and voiced the characters. I played that with my boys. That was pretty cool. Cheesy and stop. Back fly cam out a little bit. So we uh, can see a little bit. It zoomed in on it. Hold on, man. I'm doing a little math in my head. 372. A little math in your hand. In my head? <laughs> yeah. In your head's better than in your hand. In my head. Okay, Two cool. Six equals. It's machine properties. Okay. Tools. What do I know? I'm a grower and I show her. Okay. <laughs> This editor lists items. What is this stuff? 
default G codes, user interface. Hey, there's some cool stuff in here, man. General. Cool, man. All right. So let's go to our files and let's try to print something, man. Oh, I deleted my files when I updated the folder. Oh, boy. <coughs> Yes, let's print this. Do Rambo Last Blood was awesome. Oh, you saw it? See, I'm a firm believer in the, the original action stars from our childhood. That was the last group of action stars that were action stars. Now they're all touchy feely and emotional and eh, just blow shit up and shoot people. I like that. <laughs> yes, I saw it. And the last 20 minutes of it was totally rambinized. He was the rambinator. It was awesome. They should have known better. Didn't they see the other four movies? I don't know what happened. All right. Um, I like the older Rambo. Like the I don't know movies. About Man, you didn't like the last Rambo movie? I don't remember. Uh, was that the one where he was in some foreign country? And the lady came up, and they're like, they were humanitarians. And yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, baby. And that he had was to save them. Dude, they rated that the most kills in a movie ever. They counted it down. <laughs> yeah, he jumped on that gun. They kept dismissing him as the boat guy. <laughs> What's a boat guy know? Yeah. That's very typical, though. I kind of like those movies, though. Um, like uh, I, Under Siege. Un, yeah, you see, you're going old school. Yeah, I like you know, Stallone. he's just a cook. You're right, just a cook. Stallone's done pretty good at revamping the older style, like Expendables. And what was the other one that started with him and Schwarzenegger, actually? Escape Plan. You ever see that? I probably have. I just don't recall it. It was uh, Stallone plays a character that is supposed to prove that prisons are not impenetrable. And he goes in and Schwarzenegger's already there in the first one. All I remember the first one is Stallone hitting Schwarzenegger and Schwarzenegger looking at him like, oh, you hit like a vegetarian. <laughs> that was like the greatest line of the movie, dude. All right, I gotta go flip that chicken again. I'll be right back. Excuse me. Don't mind the music. It's only awesomeness. Smashing. <laughs> uh, I can't unhook myself. Damn oh my it. goodness. Yeah. The smash. <sighs> okay, we are printing something. Still slow. Speed factor, 300. I don't get it. How do I move speed factor to 300 and it doesn't go any faster? Oh, give me back my Prusa. Okay, we're going to move on to something new. From Sandlander. Sandlander. Sideliner.
All right, uh, I'm setting up here. I'm going to uh, probably start a new stream with a new topic. I'm kind of done playing with this on stream. Um, I'll still have it here. It's still going to be printing very slowly, but I don't see much point in continuing to keep the screen on. Where did everyone go? There you are. Can you hear me? I can hear you. All right. I'm just. I'm going to start a new stream uh, for a new topic. I'm ditching this uh, printer. All right. So what are you going to start a bullshit stream? Because I'm. That's what I'm best. This is at. <laughs> No comment. I guess he's starting a new stream. Get rid of me. I feel. Oh, no, man, I'll push you a link. I'm just I'm getting stuff. So this new stream is going to be about unboxing. And I have all these boxes here I have not done yet. So wow. let's start unboxing with some stuff. But to do that, I want to change this away from ProMega being the topic. <laughs> All right. We'll do it up, dude. Send me a link. I will do. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining today.
Uh, I'm going to start another stream shortly to talk about all these packages. Take it easy if it's easy.